Hello everyone and welcome back to the Silver Star Arcade and more The Wild at Heart. In the last episode, we came back to uh, Wisp Wagon, where we proceeded to not get too much done. A lot of bumbling around, figuring out how the controls work again. And, but, you know, we did. That doesn't mean we didn't make any progress. We definitely made progress. Um, but let's start by just having these guys beat that stuff up. While I unload, uh... I wish there was a way to pause it faster than just spamming. Oh, and that lag between what I see and you guys see is getting real. Ugh, I, I don't like that. Uh, get rid of the pot. Keep this stuff, because, like, it, it helps heal me. You guys could have at least tried picking some of this up. And, uh, actually, let's craft real quick. Uh, yeah. Uh. Seventeen, twenty-five, and sixteen. Yeah, so I can craft a few of these. One, two. Whoa, 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 whoa. How many did that add? Why, why did it say it added, like, a bunch? Six! How much does it Oh, does it give you, like, three per? Oh, well then that's great. Yeah, you always want to have some of those things on hand. All right. Now, where do we got to go next? We have two of the things there. Uh, we could tr we could try down here. Yeah, I guess that's where we're going next. Uh, you want to have the reds in front in case you come into contact with any enemies. Okay, so just down here, avoid the bees. Did I go the wrong way? I did. So I really hope there never comes a point where there's audio cues because Thankfully, the audio is synced with what you guys see, so there's not too much desyncation there. But because there's such a difference from what I see, like, if there was anything, it would be... Like, if there were audio cues, I'd be completely lost. Okay, we need to find the thing that helps us get rid of all this gunk. But I really don't want to look up a walkthrough. Yeah, we can't grab this one either because it's got all that stuff in front of it. I don't even remember what the thing looks like. Like, the thing you're supposed to shine the light on to make it go away. So we already dealt with that. Maybe we gotta talk to him, cause... Hmm. Can, can you get the job done with just this stuff? Uh... She. You mentioned someone that you referred to as she. Oh, yes, the witch. She was kind to me. She would visit sometimes. She would ask, she would say it was to seek my wisdom. Well, I had no wisdom that she didn't already possess. I know she visited because she wanted to comfort me, knowing that I'm away from my family here. She would sit against my belly, close her eyes, smile and bob her head while I played for the Lunalings. Her, her accompaniment was quite pleasant. You're a similar cadence, little one. Like Lunalings, oh yes, my charge here, they're breed, they're breed distantly related to the others, but of a lunar origin. The tale was told by my kind that a song brought them down from above long ago. At least, I think so. It's hard to remember. They only awaken under the light of the moon, 
And only if awakened by, well, me, I suppose. I was taught their theme long ago, and thankfully I still retain the memory. If I had my flute, I could play for them again. Whoops, no, 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 no. What the hell? I guess I can try to provide more directions while my flute is crafted. Yeah. So we have his chisel. Uh, the flute itself, core of the luster, wood tree. Thick and sticky substance. Perhaps you know how to make such a thing. Oh, so it's something we gotta make. Oh, yeah, I never would have guessed that. I thought it meant the crud here. I thought, like, we'd somehow scoop that up and... Alright, yeah, let's see. Well, first, do we have anything in the recipes? Smelly tonic, hypertonic, kicking meal, alright. Unknown item. Nightlight. Fear the night no more. This temporary light casting device is a must have for those brave enough to venture in deep woods after dark. Okay, so not what we needed. Nope. Uh, da, da, da. A magical new brew. Brew to instantly summon all Spritelings to the splash site. Oh, that's awesome. What can the Elden Pair be? Uh, that just makes a kicking meal. Um, something sticky. It probably has to do with the cola, would be my guess. Nope, that's just recycled junk. That's a makeshift flare. Recycled junk. That's a hypertonic. That's a ferocious new brew. I might as well just be crafting all this new stuff. Smelly tonic. Smelly tonic. A steadfast brew. Um. What's this? This gadget will keep loose scrap fastened down tight. Keep one on hand and you won't lose scrap from hits or from fainting for a time. Oh, well that's pretty good. Now none of this stuff got added to my inventory, right? Oh no, some of it did. Alright, I give up. I just gotta look it up. Alright, thankfully it didn't take too long to look up. Thick and delicious, homemade honey, borrowed straight from a bone bees, rich in nutrients, also quite valuable in the market. Apparently it's this thing. Yes, yes, I love you all. Now, quiet down. Oh, you did it. You found everything. I'll get straight to work. Please don't go anywhere. This shouldn't take long. Oh, he grooving. He moving. That was quick. It's, it's perfect. Just as good as the one my ancestor made. Oh, I'll be good immediately. Let me check my notes and... Oh, I have no notes. Not to worry, this song is my life's purpose. For me to forget would mean the very life drained from me. Oh, Lunalings, my dearest friends, I've missed you so. Awaken now.
And they awaken. Oh, your guys' screen looks so much more zoomed out than mine. Probably just because it's smaller. Look at their little dance. Oh, I've done it. Wow, that was incredible. Nice job, Addo. Thank you, friends. They may be a bit groggy for a moment, but the Lunalings have returned to these woods. I'm sure they'll be interested to know what's transpired in their absence. They'll likely be keen to accompany you. Whoa, really? You've likely seen their monuments throughout the woods. Now awaken the lunar Lunalings can interact with these structures. We call them Luna Stones. In fact, there's one. Why don't you give it a try when we're done? Oh, thank you for your help, friends. My ancestors will be so pleased. I'm going to play this flute until my breath fails me. Farewell, friends. Alright, come here. You got the Lunalings. The Lunaling is the rarest and most mysterious form of Spriteling currently known. Their lunar powers give them increased strength at night allowing them to lift objects of great weight. Their affinity for magic also lets them interact with ancient Luna Stones, illuminating otherwise dark areas. Immune to never corruption, it has been rumored that they can even fend off never gazers themselves. Sprite link capacity is increased by five. Sweet, get over here. I said get over here. All right. So does that mean if I separate everyone now and just take these guys, can they? Oh, they can. That is amazing. If I take... Oh, if I take you off. Would you always want... We're going to start calling them Kyle. Because they mess up all the time. Alright, you guys can join us, I guess. Come on, join us. Join us! Oh. Oh, uh, switch over to them. We're probably gonna want a lot of their. a lot of hips. But. What the. Do, do they not. There we go. What to say, like. What the. Oh no, that was just a glint fruit, I guess. What the. What was that? Was that a shadow that just showed up? Like... Get him! Get him! I think I accidentally threw one down here somewhere. I'll, I'll have to grab him later. Why can't I hit him? Wait, is this guy just frozen? He better not be, because he's older than one of my guys. He's frozen. Oh wait, no, 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 not you, not you. The Luna Links. They're rare and we're going to need a ton of them for this area. Luna Link Pip contains spark life for a Luna Link infused with glint at the nearest well. No, 
Well, we're in a frost area. So you go up there. And looks like we'll have to send some people over. How did I miss? Alright, no. Alright, where do they, sh they show up? Over there. Okay. Heart root resin. Was that it? Was that all that was up here? Alright. I do like the long, drawn-out sound when you go through those things. So there's gotta be a way to go over there now. But maybe not yet. Oh, oh no, he got free. He got free. all the way up over here for a fire area there's a lot of ice oh no 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 not dealing with that oh oh what's that up there is that heart root resin what is that everyone pick something up Where does this take me? I'm scared. Let's ride it. Let's just see where it takes us. Oh, jeez. It's already 1 in the morning. probably dust my desk but, there, but like there's too much stuff on it I can't I can't fit the duster on it oh all right yeah so I've already found this lift before okay uh, kind of makes the world feel connected and there's more stuff to be done over there all right, let's go back down. But yeah, now that we got those Lunalings, and now that I know how they work, it's going to make doing this so much easier. What's that noise? Where's their thing? Get it. Get it. Get it. Yes. Now get the rest. Before they have a chance to fight back. Okay. I think that's the first time we didn't lose like half of our guys. Alright, now what were they protecting? Oh, just down here. Oh, can the Lunalings uh, interact with this stuff? They better be able to. No, not even them. Does nothing work on those? Well, I mean, maybe the last guys will work on it. Alright, now where do I gotta go? Let's go here first, just... Actually, no, let's go up. Let's get all the far away stuff knocked out first. Alright, uh, 
everyone drop off your stuff there we go that freed up quite a few of you guys whoops oh, whoops whoops no nope, no no don't want yellows in there why can I not pick up more all right you guys pick it up then I need to drop off my own stuff. Drop that as well. Um, the nightlight might come in handy later. Right, but for now, let's finally deal with all this stuff up here. There we go. Gotta go around. You kidding me? And it only covers that one area. Alright. Well, it's getting to night time, so what I'm going to try and do is... We're gonna put pretty much all of our spritelings except the lunalings away. Then, once they're all gone, we're gonna hatch some pips. As many as we can. 150. Yeah, that's not too bad. That gets us 20. Alright, so these guys are supposedly more powerful at night. Can they interact with this? They can. Don't know why they would need to do that, though. There's no stuff over here. Alright, so if these guys are stronger at night... It still only counts as one. Maybe we actually have to wait for it to get fully to nighttime. like what three yeah still doesn't mean it's enough though which sucks oh wow they can actually fight back against these guys awesome so going out at nighttime just became a super viable option I wonder if this I wonder if light in these stones would affect those guys oh well now is a great chance to find out like Where'd he go? Like, would these guys be safe overnight if I left them here? Good chance to find out. Aw, oh, now that's awesome. That is awesome. Alright, let's hatch some pips. That's another nine. Wait, let me check something. Okay, so it does take pips out of the backpack. That's good. That's good. That's good. The stone. The stone. The stone. The stone.
Hopefully 29 is enough. 29 times 3, yeah, that's gotta be more than 70. Why does it still only say 75? Ah, darn it. Alright, everyone fight. Okay, now then, everyone. On to this. There we go. Finally got moved. Alright, now what's up here? Where to tread the stone shall mark, if one heeds the light at the dark. The light at dark. Dumb. So I guess I- No, get out of the water. Get out of the water. So I guess I gotta light all these up. And then. Of course he died. Like, what's up? Oh, I put the piggy bank away. Okay, so case in point, going out at night is still dangerous. Hey, okay, I have to drag you back here. I better still have all my guys. No. This game is dumb. I was, yeah, I was genuinely having fun with this game at the beginning, but... I've got none. I can't hatch any because it... Well, we can't do anything in this area without them. I guess that's the reason why you need to build this. I'll just buy five. Hatch them immediately. Which is a ton of glint. And I'll be, I wasn't even playing as Wake. Like, he got hit because I had the... Oh, that's annoying. Now I gotta go and grind these guys up. 
And I think I'm developing a new canker on the bottom of my mouth. It's also summertime, but my headphones are technically a headband, which means I'm and I can't have the fan on because it'll get picked up. So I'm sitting in this boiling room. And getting angry just makes you sweat more. These guys don't have mouths, I just realized. Not the trash can, you idiots. I don't know how many days this is going to take. Like, I mean, in-game days. Because I know it resets every day. Oh, hey, this thing. We never got rid of that. 75. So yeah, we absolutely need a ton of these guys. Oh, we've been over here before. I guess these guys just decided to respawn. Twelve on top of our five, so that's already not a bad start. It's gonna kill our glint though. Seventeen. Fifty-one, I think, is the total. Could be wrong. Though. Nope, not finding anyone today. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go off. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn the camera off for a bit. Let's work on this. See if we can get back there within this episode. So, not done yet, but just found a cool detail. You can kick the TV on and off. And I found another one of these rocks. 35. This is a cat in there. I'll have to take a note of that. All right, thankfully that didn't take too long. So I got 30, I have 38, which is three more than the max I can hold. So now we're just going to travel back to Wisp Wagon. And hope that it'll be night by the time we get back there. I can probably title this episode like the Great Luna uh, Lunaling Massacre, or um, hmm. God, it's impossible to get comfy at two in the morning. Wait, not two. Close enough, one thirty. But yeah, I could probably like or the Great Lunalight Tragedy, because like, I lost all of them. Like the, the game was a bit unforgiving. It. Kinda of reminds me of Chugga Conroy's incident in Pikmin. Alright, where am I going? Yeah, up and around. Got it. Went up too soon. I'm genuinely surprised I didn't like scream in anger because like because if I was playing this casually I'd probably be like 
hitting my fist on the bed, like... Like, this, like, this chair is uncomfortable, so I usually, when I'm playing games casually, like... If there are things, like, I super have to focus on, like, Fire Emblem, then yeah, I'll sit in the chair. You know, be closer to the action, no more distractions. But if it's just, like, a casual game, like, for example, uh, Smash Brothers. I used to play Smash Brothers all the time. Um, you know, back when, uh, or, like, no, I played Splatoon. But yeah, like, I used to play Smash Brothers all the time. Okay, now what does this do? Where to tread the stone cell mark if one heeds the light at dark? Oh yeah, that's right, I died, so I should probably pick up all this loot. And then that loot's probably gonna be impossible to get. Come here. All right, so we got our loot back. Don't know what these stones are, or what they do. Hmm, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Am I missing some guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, three. I'm missing like four guys. Where are they? There's one, there's one, okay, I got all five. Okay. Alright, it's dark out, the light will show me where the tread. I have to do something with this stuff up here. Yeah, I was... Okay, so one, two, three, and four. So it's, it's, it's a zigzag pattern. So... Some go over here. What? No, don't follow me. Kyle! Oh, really? As soon as I... No, not again! Get on the stone, you jack... MOTHER! Did I lose all of them again? I guess it's a good thing I packed so many of them. Did I take a picture of that? A barrel? No, I didn't. I didn't take a picture of it. I took a picture of the empty ones. Because of course I would have.
This is why I wish you could separate Captain. Because if I didn't have this dead weight trailing behind me, taking hits. Doesn't matter, I think I remember the pattern anyways. How do I grab that? Oh yeah, that's right, these guys are immune. Our feet show up behind the rock sometimes, like little black dots. Did something bite me? Like it is summer, and our house, and you know, when summer comes around, everyone's houses start to crawl with bugs. Like bugs seep, seep in from every open corner and open window. I don't think I was bit. Maybe this game is stressing me out so much it's causing my health to decline at a rapid rate. Look at them wiggle like a weird worm. Grab this one up here as well, I guess. It, oh my, get over here. I'm not even touching it. There are still so many pieces left to go. We're just gonna let these guys collect it and then I'm ending the episode. I'm ending the recording session. I'm going to sleep because... Man, was this infuriating, this whole experience. Like... Now, it is probably because I'm out of practice, but like, and you know, you shouldn't, when you're out of practice, tackling a new topic and thing shouldn't be your, like, Exit game. Progress will be saved. You'll return to the camp. Oh. Alright, so. Sorry for my little outbursts. Do all four of them now show up? On the title screen? I'm only seeing the twiglings, emberlings, and frostlings. Hmm. Anyways. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, stay safe, have fun, and have a great day.